Now these are wooden mukwa notes, and if we lift one of them up, we can see that there is an arch underneath. And we also see that the holes through which the string passes are beyond the arch. The reason that they are beyond the arch is that the arch has to happen on the inside of the nodes and the nodes are the places where the holes are and through which the string passes. What is a node? A node is the point of least vibration on any musical note or any rectangular piece of wood for that matter. If you were to put sawdust or wood shavings or salt on this note and and just and put it on a soft surface and just play it like this for a long time, the salt or whatever you placed on it would migrate to the nodes because that's the place where it vibrates the least. And that's how you know where to put the holes to put the strings and also that's how you know where to put the arch because the arch has to be on the inside of the nodes otherwise the key does not sound good. So this wood called mukwa is also known as Pterocarpus angolensis. It is a species of wood that uh, grows in Zimbabwe and southern Africa. It is also known by the name of kiat. And if we look at, uh, at some more of this instrument we will see that in fact the stabilizing bars and the end pieces are also made of mukwa. Now something is written here that we're going to take a closer look at. Here it says tenor number one. This instrument is called either an alto or a tenor. So this is the tenor and then you'll see it says here tail, arrow this way, nose, arrow this way. The reason for that is that this marimba, this part of it is longer here than it is there and then you've got this little vertical piece and you've got bars on either side and then you've got a central bottom bar that runs along the bottom of the instrument and then you have a whole series of resonators with buzzers and some buzzer paper in them. The buzzer paper or the buzzer membrane is actually made in this case from um, grocery bags, Walmart bags, because that's what we have available. But in Zimbabwe they use uh, the thin animal membrane or spider's webs because that's what they have available. Um, we look again at, the, at this now. When we tilt the marimba like this, we see we can tilt it like so, or we can tilt it like so. And if you tilt it like this, then the player can play the instrument. <laughs> Now you're hearing a little rattling there, that's because we have not yet fastened the instrument's keys down. And the reason we have not done so is because I wanted to show you what goes on with these resonators. The resonators, let's just flip these over. The resonators are gourd-like hollow objects that are attached to the soundboard and then between these are bridges through which a um, string comes and on which the notes...